My name is Brad Swatsky. I'm a nuclear physicist here at the lab, and I'm here to show you what a photomultiplier tube is. Now, here at the lab, we deal with very small amounts of energy, very tiny things going on inside our physics experiments. And the way we measure these things is we look at very small amounts of light that are generated as an electron or a proton passes through our detector package. This light is, a, is undetectable by the human eye, so we need an amplifying device. And that's what a photomultiplier tube is. It's an amplifier. We have a photon, a piece of light comes in, hits the photocathode, and that kicks off an electron through the photoelectric effect. That one electron will then cascade down something called a dynode chain, but the bottom line is it behaves just like an avalanche. So you start with a small little pebble at the top of your mountain, right up at the top here, and then it'll cascade down to the bottom and you'll end up with a million million electrons. A million million electrons is something that we can measure, it's something that we can stick into our uh, digitizer device and record uh, into our computers. So we use these devices as amplifiers in order to measure very, very small amounts of light.